amazing word. Acts chapter 10, verses 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. I began to sit down and begin to think critically about this scripture. Jesus, the name Jesus simply means anointed. He is God. He is the uncaused causer. Before the beginning, Jesus was. And yet, when he came here, he needed anointing. His father needed to anoint him. If Jesus needed anointing for him to begin his ministry, then you and I, we need much anointing. And the Bible said, because he was anointed, God became his ally. He was able to destroy the shackles of the demons and the devil. But the Bible says, for God was with him. It simply means that there are benefits when it comes to anointing. When you are anointed, one benefit is you carry the presence of God. Anyone anointed by God has God as an ally. Wherever he goes, wherever she goes, God is with him. Because of this scripture, I want to teach you this morning the benefits of anointing. The benefits of anointing. And this morning, the benefits are many. Time will not allow me to go all the benefits. As a matter of fact, I can't be used one year to talk about benefits of anointing. But I want to speak one benefit from this scripture is the presence of God. When you are anointed, you have access to divinity. When you are anointed, God is with you. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. Now, the presence of God. Every Christian, all you need is the presence of God. Listen, we are saying, 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 we Jesus was anointed by his father. And because of the anointing that he carried, he has God around him. God was with him. So when I began to think again about this scripture, then I saw the importance of anointing. The benefits are many. One is the presence of God. You need the presence. You need the presence. We have elder, one senior elder in the church. His name is Nyame Kaho. I don't know if Nyame on Kaho. I'm in the world for me. Nyame on Kaho. Open say Nyame Kaho. I'm in the world for me. I tell you, the Bible says, if God is with us, who can be against us? Romans 8, 30, 31. Romans 8, 30, 31. So, all you need is the presence of God. And Let's begin to consider this presence of God, what it does in the life of those who are carriers of his presence. David was saying, God, you can allow any problem to come to me. You can take my children. You can destroy my business. You can take my heart. But do not cast away your presence. In other words, don't take me away from your presence. Why? Because without your presence, nobody can kill me. Over here, what happened? David had sinned against God. And God has brought calamity to his family. He began interceding for his sins. Among other things, he said, God, forgive me. 
But don't cast me away from your presence. Don't take your presence from me. Everything you want to do, do. But one thing, reserve, preserve for me in my life is don't take me away from your presence. This is why David was a perpetual winner. We David in Yasama Asamato, saying Yami or Kanahono, or Belkone Kuamano. Me in Pai Mobiano Pay. I pray for you this morning. May you never get to a level that you will be taken away from the presence of God. I'm a never form cry. Somebody say, My father. Somebody say, My father. Say, my heavenly father, do not cast me away from your presence. Oh, God. Those of you who came to church during the revival, one of our pastors from Afanko said something. You can take your seat. Also, Peter said something. Something was praying from Jesus. He said, God, give me in other words, he was trying to explain to his wife why he was strong. He said, this, my head, nobody has ever saved it before. The day they will shave my hair, I'll become like ordinary person. In other words, I'll be nobody. Oh. See, I'm a true uniform as well. I'm a true uniform as well. I'm a true uniform here. If there's any prayer, you need to pray. This must be your prayer. God, do not take away your presence from me. Don't cast me away from your presence because you become an ordinary person. A human being, a Christian without God, you are nobody. Ube yo biya keke. Men pa abone se. Sa ube yo bribi pa. I pray for you that God will help you not to take you away from his presence. The benefits of anointing, the first one is when you are anointed by God, you have his presence. And because of this, I want you to know the importance of his presence. When you carry his presence, what happens to you? And somebody like David understood this presence and said, God, I'll kill somebody. I've took his wife. My son had died. One of my sons has dethroned me. He has slept with all my wives. I've lost my throne. But one thing that preserved for me, do not take away, do not cast me away from your presence. Because that one day, it will be Yamutu finish. Why? Because if you don't have his presence, you become ordinary person. In the panel where we ask you, hey, how God anointed Jesus. He went out doing good. For God was with him. Jesus needed the presence of his father. David said, yes. Any calamity can come. But do not cast him away from your presence. My purpose is that I want you to have appetite of the anointing. Because when you are anointed, then you carry his presence. And when God is with you, that's all you need. It doesn't matter the thickness of darkness around you. All you need is light. And the presence is the light. No wonder. Because of this prayer. Because of David's understanding about the importance of the presence of God. He had, sister says, battles. He won all. Even in his weakness, he still won. Because when God prays with you, it's simply God is with you. And who can overcome God? I began doing some research about the Bible. About how some people, despite their challenges, they came out at victors. What were their secrets? And I want us to consider one man called Joseph. 
Genesis 39, 2. Genesis 39, 2. And Genesis 39, 21. The Lord was with Joseph. And he was a successful man. He was in the house. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Verse 3. Yes. And his master saw that the Lord was with Joseph and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. Watch this. Joseph own brethren sold him. He took intervention of Reuben. They could have killed him. But Joseph has a secret. God was with him. Although as a slave. Can you give me uh, Amplify the verse 2. 30, 39 2. Amplify. 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 Genesis 39 2. As a slave. Watch this. But the Lord was with Joseph and he though as a slave was successful and prosperous man as a slave. Hey, that's the matter where you are coming from. It doesn't matter your educational level, though it's important for you to go through higher education if you can. But Joseph as a slave became prosperous and his CV was that, not because of his intelligence, but because God was with him. So what, what happened? His master handed over his household into his care, apart from his wife. The only person Joseph didn't have power over was Mrs. Potiphar. Everything was under Joseph. Though as a slave, can you imagine the presence of God? Give me the verse 21. So, what the presence of God did in the life of Joseph. But the Lord was with Joseph and saw him mercy. Oh, and loving kindness and gave him favor in the sight of the warden of the prison. What is it? As a slave, he prospers. As a prisoner, he was in charge. If you have the presence of God around you, nobody can intimidate you. I decree with my eyes open. If you can hear the sound of my voice, may God be with you. I say, may God be with you. I say, may God be with you. Receive the presence of God. And even today, and even 20, this 2021, wherever you go, the presence of God shall go with you. When you sleep, God will be with you. When you are taking a shower, God will be with you. Your children, your wife, wherever you are in and out, if you have your own car, in the name of Jesus, may God be with you. If you go out and throw, throw, may God be with you. If you fly, may God be with you. Wherever you go, may God be with you. You, all we need is the presence of God. Now, say, see, I can't. What did Joseph do? You can take your seat. He was just a dreamer. And because of his dreams, Genesis 37, his brethren became angry and sold him. And over here, Oh God. Anybody yet? I was young. I feel away. Don't joke with anointing. Because their brothers went back to their father and told their father. Uh, when we were coming, we saw this coat with blood. Well, we, we are we are fighting. Where is my son? Oh, Ruby was there. Oh, daddy. And uh, Judah too was crying. Sebulon, not everybody was crying. And then they concluded a wild animal has consumed your son. They themselves have sold the son. They themselves have sold Joseph. They went and lied that he had been killed. Now my man, he ended up with Potiphar. Why God was making life comfortable for him. Mrs. Potiphar eyed him. Come and sleep with me. Tell me for what? No! I can't do that. I am a Hebrew boy trained by my fathers. We are told from tradition and teaching 
that. Even having a boyfriend, a girlfriend is evil. But for me to see somebody's wife, it's a taboo. How can I do this grave sin against God? Genesis 39, verse 9. Ah, Mrs. Potiphar said, hey, they give me your coat. The same coat. The first one, they took it. The second one, before he realized, he became a prisoner. But God. Somebody say, but God. Oh, somebody say, but God. But God was with him. Oh, oh. How would it be? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going People can look at you. What you have not done, they will make sure they mess a measurement and they try to give you a cassette. Like you, pepe, pepe. Ni ya chasem biya toso. Na ya dia trote. Ni pe hu kwa esinya. Hu nye kore. Esu nye obi abone. Ba honi bibi. En osana o oswa. Ni ya di pepe kebe bayan kwa siyasem. I decree in the name of Jesus. If somebody by reason of deception had taken away your glory, in Jesus' name, take it back. So we are concerned about also. So we are charged about also. Now Abraham and Koya and now Osaniti receive it by the name of Jesus. I want you to stand up before, maybe a minute. Oh, Joseph. So he went to the prison, and one day he was walking, and he saw some prisoners crying. Say, "You are crying. I am Joseph. Oh, I have not done anything bad." I am a Jew. I am a Hebrew. Minya ponyo. Any point in amwa? Jew. You. You went and murdered somebody. Who got to obi botom ni adwa batwa uzu? Me dia menya she. He encouraged them. Fast forward. He explained. He interpreted their visions. As a prisoner. He became prime minister. As a matter of fact, when you read Genesis, even Pharaoh called Joseph my father. Ah. Oh. What are we saying this morning? Because God was with Joseph, notwithstanding the trial and the challenge that the devil placed before him, he came out as a winner. This morning, all you need is the presence of God. Receive it. Receive it. Any pain yet? Any pain yo? Now, so you're meeting us. Oh, come in, you're going slow. Oh, come in, you're going slow. As you hear the sound of my voice, I pray and I decree from today, may you carry the presence of God. May you carry the presence of God. Be a carrier of the presence of God. Oh, because it made the difference when the presence of God is with you. Your test becomes testimony. Mm. They may put you down. They don't know that they are promoting you. By the dream Joseph had, he was mandated to be a king. How can it happen? The brothers thought that they were doing bad, evil against him. Hey, Obey and If somebody has something against you, as I speak to you, the same way Joseph Braden bow before him. Your enemies are bow. I say, Your enemies are bow. Your enemies are bow. I say, Joseph, I'll be on here. From prison. Oh. <laughs> hey, Joseph. When the Pharaoh called him, they changed his garment. They made him prime minister. And he sat down one day. And he saw his own brethren. Those who saw him. Please take your seat. Ah, they saw, he saw his brethren. Why are you here? Oh, hunger has taken over. Oh. The lands of Israel. Our father Jacob is old. No food to eat. We are 12. One have died. Only 11. And they were talking to the one. They themselves sold. They were talking to the one. They claimed he has died. 
Ah, Joseph, look at them. And Joseph began to yell on them. And all of them bow. Ah, when they began bowing, Joseph began crying and went to the inside. Oh, daddy, me na me niye. I am inside your son. Obi nyale me. Me Joseph niye. Oh, why? Not because Joseph was intelligent, but because he carried another power, the presence of God. So the brethren began bowing. Omo e pe ogone no. Those who waste your time for. They will bow before you 20 times in the name of Jesus. From today, as far as 2021, anywhere your name will mention negatively, all the people who want you to go down, Jehovah will kill them. Say, my father, unchangeable changer, God of Isaac, God of Abraham. God of Joseph, God of Bishop Adolfo, I want to see your hand in my life. Let me experience your presence. Your presence is all I need. Hallelujah. 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 Hmm. And to you, say, nah, presence in the here. Why you need the presence of God is that because human beings are wicked. Mm. It was Joseph, brethren, that sold him. Potiphar wife. He lied. Watch this. One day, Joseph was standing, commanding everybody apart from Pharaoh. And Potiphar was standing there. Mrs. Potiphar too was there. Ah, Joseph was commanding them. One more baby at all They will come back and save you. They will come back and save you. Those who want your downfall. Jehovah will destroy them. Somebody shout fire. Casa Urade. Say my father. Today and the rest of my life. All I need is your presence. Be with me. My in and out. Because of the anointing. Somebody shout, Jesus. Why the presence? The presence is a changer of destiny. Hey, Joseph, he had a dream. He dreamt. Because of his dream, they sold him. But the presence brought it back. I pray for you. Any dream you have dreamt, especially the good one, the one that will change your level. In Jesus name. The same God who allowed Joseph to see the meaning of his dream. May your dream come to pass. May your dream come to pass. And a good dream in Jesus name. It must come to pass. Say my father. Say my heavenly father. And a good dream I have dreamt. Let it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear amen? Take your seat. The benefits of the anointing. When you are anointed, you have the presence of God. I indicated to you that one year we can't talk. We can't really talking about the benefits. But today, only one. When you are anointed by God, you carry his presence. Jesus carried the presence of God. And as for David, he said, God, it doesn't matter the problems that you allow it to come to me. Don't cast me away from thy presence. But I major more on Joseph. Because I look at the whole thing. They made him a slave, a prisoner, a boy boy. And within 24 hours, he became prime minister. Not because of his intelligence, but because God was with him. So I want you to have this appetite. Oh God, I don't want to be ordinary Christian. I don't want to walk ordinary. I want to carry your presence. Now the question will be, so how can I experience the presence of God? Walk with God with integrity 
and with uprightness. Anya wadi nanti ye o minu ya ba minu ya bema. Unin yangu po nanti ye. Genesis 39 verse 9. Joseph walked with God. Very well. What did he say? He is no greater in this house than I am. Nor has he kept any, anything from me except you. For you are his wife. How then can I do this great evil and sin against God? Master, Walk with God with uprightness, with faithfulness. The way you come to church, the punctual, come on time, the way you have started. And then hate evil. Be a lover of God. When you come to church and the church leadership is doing something and you know it is for a worthy cause. Be part. Get involved about kingdom investment. The way you work with God, that's how he's going to work with you. First Samuel 2. First Samuel 2, 29, 32. If you honor God, he will honor you. First Samuel 2, 29, 32. That's the key. Work with God. With integrity. So you can imagine the secret of Joseph. Oh boy. No compromise. No compromise. No compromise. And I want to end with something. He carried the power. But he treated the power lightly. He didn't walk with God with uprightness and faithfulness. With integrity. For two occasions or about seven occasions, his wives tempted him for his secret. So he was playing around his own destiny. Oh, something. Oh, something. Judges 16, 21. Let's read this one. Judges 16, 21. He was alive. What happened to him? Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. Oh, something. The man that can use just a bow, a jaw, a bow to kill 1,000. Look at him. He was alive. His eyes were taken. If he said, God is ready to be with you. Provided you work with him very well. So don't envy Joseph. Listen. There is a price to pay. 2021. What did I say? Oh man, the monk can't get him in the bar. And the price is holiness, seriousness, kingdom promotion advancement. The price to pay. Oh, but so near two of the cross and found. Oh, person, I'm a man. There be one yana sir. Let us start the year with seriousness, love humanity, love the needy, and help them. And promote the kingdom. Master, soon soon you want to the agro. Oh, something. Something to ask in any of that. You have to do it. Now, some people can have some challenges with their eyes. It can be repaired. In his case, they took it away. Anointed something became a joker. They radical, they made mockery. About him because he didn't walk with God. Well, compare some to Joseph. How can I do this great sin against my father? But look at him. On the one a man for he was sleeping with prostitutes. Eventually, he slowed his eyes. So, my friends, I charge you make a decision to walk with God. Well, no sin. Don't entangle yourself with sin because of the anointing. Don't make Holy Spirit cry. Make him happy. Amazing web.